Ah, oh, Miss Hinkle lost her dachshund. Well, I'm sure it'll turn out. I mean, there wasn't much kerosene in the turbine after all. Hmm, locked. Huh. It can probably be opened from the inside. The windshield is encrusted with dirt. Oh, there's a sign behind it. Maybe the name of the driver? Sure, puff. Huh. Well, that could spell anything. Oh, great. The rust bucket's dead, but the lock is still working. What's going on here? I haven't seen such a crowd in front of the town hall since, well, since, since the mayor wanted to introduce a tax on the lack of political commitment. Please form a line, people. Draw a waiting... <coughs> oh, draw a waiting number, and the mayor will see you in a short while. What's going on here? Did someone refill the peanut jar? A girl fell from the sky. They say she's a real beauty. The mayor is about to decide who's going to give her shelter. Yeah, well I doubt he'll have a hard time to decide once he's heard my story. I saved that girl from the Dark Exchequer. I am responsible for her. Nice try, buddy. But I've made up a good story, too. Mine even has a dragon in it. So move to the back of the line and draw a number like everyone else. Number 66. Almost my lucky number. Hello, Lottie. You too. <clears throat> You too? Dear me, what a day. Where's the girl from Elysium? Princess Sugar... <clears throat> yeah. Princess Sugar Bottom? Oh, she's lying around in the assembly hall. Of course, I knew you came because of her. It's a always the same. <clears throat> always the same. A beautiful young girl in a tight jumpsuit falls from the sky heavily injured. And immediately, <laughs> everyone's falling over themselves to help her. Hussy! Hussy! I want to see the mayor. Everyone... <coughs> Everyone does! Take a number and wait your turn. Can you make an exception and let me in before the others? It's your turn when you... Your number comes up! No exceptions. Not even for me? Especially not for you! But the line isn't moving at all. Who's next anyway? Number 62. I think that's Wenzel. Wenzel is also applying? But Wenzel isn't even here. Well, it's his turn. Wenzel is up next. No exceptions! I officially want to deregister my residence here on Deponia. Although a lot of people will be glad to hear that. Mm -hmm. Me, for instance. That won't be possible today! The, <clears throat> the mayor is pretty busy at the moment. I'll skedaddle. Don't let the door hit you! The mayor wants to decide what? Who will what? Give her shelter? Lotec thinks the girl should be um, integrated into our community, and someone has to nurse her back to health. I hope the mayor will choose me. She could give me a hand in the mud pits. Ever since I cut my fingertips while scrubbing rust, I tend to get infected cuticles. You want her to scrub rust for you? That's outrageous. Why? What do you want the girl for? Rufus? Rufus! Huh? Oh, what? Well, how do I get to the mayor? That's easy. Take a number and stand at the end of the line. Nice hats. Did I miss a trend or something? The roofer switched to making hats, because it hasn't rained for months. <laughs> I see. <laughs> and I'm sure the trousers are from the guy who used to make tarps, right? <laughs> hey! My wife made them for me. Well, thanks for nothing.
Couldn't you let me cut in? See, I'm in a bit of a hurry, and... I see. Well, if that's the case... Do you want my chair? Shall we get you something to drink while you're waiting? We could bake a cake for you, too. Really? I like cactus cake, but no raisins. Thanks very much. And... Oh. I see. Crap. Now I'm hungry. I'll skedaddle. Goal! I have to talk to her. She's got to know who her savior is. Rufus, do you have to snoop around here? Hi, Inspector Gizmo. That's Dr. Gizmo. As you know, I hold all three positions in this emergency station. And right now, I'm a doctor. And as a doctor, I have the right to ask, why are you bothering my patient? She's an acquaintance of mine. I wanted to see how she's doing. Her name is Gold. Oh, <laughs> the Elysian is an acquaintance of yours, eh? Very funny. Well, as long as your lacking sense of reality doesn't keep me from doing my job, knock yourself out. Look after your acquaintance, but make it snappy. Unfortunately, none of my remedies seem to work. Well, how about some really strong coffee? Ha! <laughs> the coffee that can be of help here needs to be brewed. Doesn't every coffee need to be brewed? Yes, right, but... Hey, not to worry, Dr. Gizmo. I have a plan. Do the world a favor and spare us your plans, Rufus. Your wacky plans have never done anyone any good. Except that the mayor granted me a larger file cabinet for patients' histories. Dr. Gizmo? What now? I want to... An emergency? No emergency. My bad. If you say so, it sounds too good to be true. Do you have a stimulant for me? To make you even more annoying? I don't think so. I've used up most of the stimulants on the patient, but to no avail. I still have some left in the medicine cabinet in my office, but no one except me is allowed to access it. We'll see about that. What was that? Uh, time for me to leave. That's what I keep telling you. Will she fully recover? She'd need to wake up first to be able to tell. Well, why don't you wake her up then? Well, it's not that easy. I already tried every stimulant I could find in my medicine cabinet. None of those were strong enough. She needs something much, much stronger. Something much, much stronger. Hmm. Sounds like a job for me. I am much, much stronger after all. Could you leave me? No. But no. Bummer. Well, thanks for it. Hmm. Not literally.
This is Wenzel's house. He'll be flabbergasted when he hears about my newest adventure. I bet he'll be pretty disgruntled because he decided not to come with me. He'll start shaking and get crying fit. Why am I not as cool and daring as you, Rufus? <laughs> I also want to experience such great excitement. <laughs> But deep down in his heart, he knows that he just isn't cut out for this. He'll get seriously depressed. Oh boy, I really hope he's home. Wenzel! Hey, Rufus. Back already? That was really fast this time. Yeah, yeah. This time, I almost made it. Unfortunately, like so often, my human kindness got in my own way. Of course. That darn human kindness of yours, it's always getting into your way, right? Indeed. You never get anything done anymore. Well, there are just too many humans. They should all be... Drowned in the Red Rust Sea. Exactly. That darn human kindness. By the way, thanks for all your stuff. What? Wait, isn't that my chest? Well, you said I could have your stuff if your plan works out. But... And your plan did work out. You just said so yourself, didn't you? Yes, yes, but... but... Well, that's settled then. Have you heard about that woman from Elysium? Who hasn't? This wouldn't have anything to do with you, by any chance. Hey, you know me. Wherever there's a woman that needs rescuing, I'm there. You're right. There really does seem to be a connection. I was there when the girl fell from the sky. It's all right. I'm sure it was just an accident. No, you're getting this all wrong. I saved her. Of course you did. Don't you want to go to the town hall? To apply for giving shelter to the Elysian woman? The thought has crossed my mind. I even got a waiting number, but then I thought, what have I got to offer? Yeah, nothing. If I were rich or found a water vein, I might have a chance, but like this. By the way, you're holding up the line. So what? As long as I haven't found a water vein, I don't even have to show up. Well, all you have to do is disengage the childproof lock. But the only thing in there was this weird stick. That's you think so? Legend has it that it always brought him luck. He found the water vein Kuvax built on with this very rod. Yeah? Well, if my father really always had that much luck, then why didn't he manage to take me along when he left Deponia? Eh, uh, I haven't the slightest idea. Hey, maybe you can find water with the divining rod. And where, pray tell, would I start to look? In my basement? I should say that's highly improbable. Later. Exactly. Don't even think about it, Rufus. It's mine now. But it's a family heirloom. So? A gift is a gift. Boy, I can hardly wait to give it a try. Maybe I can find a well somewhere near. And once I'm rich... We'll split 50-50. <laughs> <laughs> I might lend you the rod for a couple of hours. This reminds me of the fireworks last New Year's Eve. The plan with the balloons was just great. It was, uh, <laughs> just on the wrong day. If my impeccable sense of orientation doesn't fail me, I should be under the shower right now.
Huh? The emergency station is closed for lunch? Oh, great. Well, what if there's an emergency now? My nuclear-power-propelled satellite could crash into Kuvac. Or the Grizzlies could break free from my treadmills. I mean, isn't anyone thinking on their feet here? Hello? 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 Ah, I'm starving! I've eaten nothing but worms for days now! Ignore him. My wife sometimes talks to herself when she's down there. He must have picked that up from her. We can't meet anymore. Although my husband is almost deaf, his bird has quite good ears. Hello, Hannock. Oh, hey, uh... Rufus? Exactly. Why aren't you working? You mean, why am I doing just the same as you? Because some joker removed the magnets from the detonation plan, that's why. Hey, I am very busy, actually. I've been running around all day, getting things done, and, uh, picking stuff up, and, 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 and things like that. Well, how about you find some new magnets for our detonation plan? Then we can finally continue work. How exactly does that detonation plan of yours work? Well, that's pretty exciting, actually. Yeah, I doubt it. The chief detonator uses magnets to mark the positions of the next three planned detonations. Then, he rings a bell, and I give a signal to the miner who will on his part prepare the explosives in the mine shaft. And after that, we blow the thing up. <sighs> and then you start with the exciting part? Um, no. That's it, actually. Yeah, <laughs> I knew it. Is that your parrot? Yes, we use it to detect dangerous fumes in the mine shaft. Oh, what do you do when that happens? We get a new parrot. <laughs> I see. What exactly are you guys doing down there? What do you think? We are trash hunters. We search for useful trash. Most of the time, trash is just junk, and so pretty useless. For instance, I have a whole collection of car keys for cars that have been scrapped ages ago. Uh, talk to you later. See you, uh... Rufus? Exactly. Ah, Rufus. I thought you are on your way to Elysium. Have you come back to pay your tab? Oh, that. Oh, well, listen, Lonzo. I, uh, I planned to do that, but constructing an escape vehicle costs a lot. And, uh... <laughs> Don't worry, Rufus. No one here expected you to make it. Good. Ah, great. Thanks. Lonzo. Yeah? Long time no see, Lonzo. Long time indeed. Anything new? Hey, you know how Kuvac is. Nothing ever happens in Kuvac. Yep, without me this place would be dead. Well, without you there would be fewer explosions. It must be pretty sad for all of you that I'll be gone soon. It's almost unbearable. Almost. How about a shot of that old worry be gone? Well, that depends. Will you ever pay me what you owe? Of course. I just need to get some money first. But you know that I'm always true to my word. <laughs> if you find a new word that makes you look less like a frog. Well said, Lonzo. Well said. Did you hear about the stranger? The girl? Yes, but I don't care. Don't tell me you want to start quarreling about her with all the other idiots. Well, you know me. <laughs> I'm always the first in line when... Uh... Idiots are quarreling. Yes. 
Do you have something that can give someone a real boost? Since when are you ordering coffee? Did you break Tony's coffee machine again? How often do I have to tell you that you don't filter oil that way? No, this is not about simple coffee. I need something that really, really gets you awake. A kind of ultimate pick-me-up. Lonzo, are you okay? Okay, just forget I ever asked. I'm off. No, no, wait a minute. I think I know exactly what you need. This is it. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Hey, wow. You have pipes, tanks, valves. It's a, it's a, it's a thing. This is an espresso machine. But this is not just any old espresso machine. This is the mother of all espresso machines. I tuned it myself. And you wound ribbons into its hair? Indeed I did. Okay, but one question remains. What exactly is this espresso? Well, to be honest, I'm not sure myself. I think it's a kind of highly concentrated coffee. The people of prehistoric times drank it. Uh-huh. And then they forgot to switch the machine off. <laughs> I see. I built the compressor following all the instructions that I found. Unfortunately, the pictures were pretty blurry, but I think I figured out what ingredients are needed. Take the recipe. It's right next to you on that bar stool. If you bring me these ingredients, we can start brewing. In the meantime, I'll have found my life insurance policy. I hope. Ho 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 ho! I'm so excited! <laughs> what a swall. Okay, I need clear reviving and energy-rich water. The coffee powder must be black, stimulating, and made from hot beans. It, hmm, none of these things can be found in Cuba. I never mind, though. Being a master improviser, I bet I can find plenty of alternatives. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? It's all written down on the recipe I gave you. Just bring me everything that's on the list. Till then I'll do some fine tuning on the espresso machine. Okay. About the powder. Tell me. Do you have any idea what kind of blackish powder is needed for this recipe? I have no idea. I don't think they're talking about black powder. Black powder? Hmm. I said it's probably not black powder. But black powder is blackish. Listen, this machine works with high pressure and extreme heat. If you put black powder into the... Yada, yada, yada. Let me worry about the ingredients and you'll prepare the machine. Oh, no. I'm starting to regret this. Do you have any idea what kind of blackish powder is needed for this recipe? I have no idea. I don't think they're talking... Black. I said... But... Listen... Yada... Let me work... Oh, I'm... Any idea? I have no idea. Maybe some kind of stimulant? Maybe Dr. Gizmo has some in his office. Oh, that reminds me. Maybe Dr. Gizmo has some kind of stimulant in his office. That's just what I said. You did? Maybe I'd listen more carefully if you said something useful from time to time. Ah, oh, I guess I had that coming. Any idea what hot beans are supposed to be? No idea. Well, this seems to be a highly intellectual puzzle for a gifted mind. Right. Maybe you should ask Wenzel. I was talking about me. Sorry. I guess I should have known. Statistically, it was very likely that you were talking about yourself. Don't worry. I'll manage. Hurry up. I can't wait to fire up this sweet machine for a test brew. Uh, about the water. Keep it flowing. Clean water? Where can I get clean water? Clean water is a myth. Everybody knows that. 
My father always told me that story about how he founded Kuvak on top of a source of fresh, clean spring water. Hogwash! Your father was a bullshitter, just like you. Bullshitter? What's that supposed to mean? Someday, someone will explain it to you in detail, I'm sure. Energy-rich water. What's that supposed to mean? I have no idea. Hanek told me they sometimes find batteries in the trash. Those contain energy. How about you ask him? Oh, sheesh. This whole quest is exhausting. Exhausting? Hanek is working right in front of this building. Hanek! I guess you'll have to move a few steps into his direction and talk to him directly. <laughs> exhausting and stressful. The recipe says something about a revitalizing liquid. I don't know what that means. I don't know either. A liquid that makes something inanimate come to life again? That sounds scary. What's scary about that? Just imagine, a freezer making breakfast in bed for you. Yeah, obviously you've never been in a relationship with Tony. Don't worry, I'll manage. Hurry up. I can't wait to fire up this sweet machine for a test brew. I'll be off then, getting all the ingredients. You do that. I'll be here if you need me. Huh? What was that? Oh, the emergency station is opened again. Oh, that must mean I can choose the more daring options now. <laughs>